Hi, welcome, my name is Katie. I'm a wife, I'm a mom, and I work full time. I love makeup and skincare. I truly believe every single woman wants to look and feel her best and have the tools and the resources to help you get there. And today, I wanna talk about how to really brighten up your eyes while we're wearing masks. There's more attention than ever on your eyes because this part of your face is covered. So I wanted to share with you just some super quick and easy tips and tricks to really help brighten up that eye and give you the most awake appearance that you can achieve. So let's get started. Before we get started, the question I always get, and I have to say it because when I don't, then I get the questions and I can't remember you all because I do so many different videos with so many different lip looks. What am I putting on my lips? Okay, so the first is the Splash Liquid Lipstick in Snarky. I put that all over my lips and then I took the Splash Liquid Lipstick in Sublime and I put that just in the middle of my lips. It kind of gives you like an ombre effect. I'll have to do a video on it sometime, but it gives you the appearance of fuller lips and this really kind of custom lip look, which I'm all Let's about. Just dive right into this. I am going to take the press shadow, all my press shadows everywhere. I need to organize them. When you're brightening up the eye, you want to use a lighter shadow. That makes sense, right? Like if you are using a really dark shadow on the lid, it's just going to make your whole eye appear dark. So what I like to do, if you've seen my videos before, I just like to take a single press shadow. Let me use the one, it's called Laid Back. It is an ivory satin. I'm gonna put that on the side of my deluxe brush and I'm gonna press this all over the lid. If you've seen any of my videos before, like I said, uh, you know I like to put a shadow like this all over the lid to really help even out the skin tone of the lid. I think it really gives you an overall more brighter appearance, a more youthful appearance because the lid appears balanced, but it doesn't necessarily look like I'm wearing makeup. You know what I mean? Like. Maybe it looks a little bit like I'm wearing makeup, but overall it's just a very natural look. But the lid is now brighter, and that's gonna give the appearance just overall of a brighter eye. So again, I'm just taking that shadow laid back all over the lid with my deluxe brush. All right, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kinda add a little bit more to the eye look, so I'll be right so back. So now that I have added a little bit of shadow to the lid, I put astute. In the crease, you know I love using that as a transition color. And then I took my liquid shadow in Giggly and I just used my finger, press that all over the lid. The cool thing about the liquid shadows is that they're prismatic. So depending on how the light hits it, I feel like my bra is hanging out there, my bra. Uh, depending on how the light hits it, it looks like you're wearing multiple shadows. But you can see it's just a really nice light neutral shadow that I put on the lid. All right, so next thing, let's take a concealer. I'm gonna be using the new Skin Solution Concealer in the shade Organza. This is two shades lighter than my normal foundation color. You wanna go a little bit lighter, especially underneath the eyes, because that is going to help brighten up the eye. I just use like a little V shape underneath the eye there. And then I'm using my damp blending bud to just press that into the skin underneath the eye. And I'm not just focused right underneath the eye, right? I'm bringing it down a little bit to just brighten up that whole under eye area. Oh, I should have done a before and after. I have a picture so I can show you that real quick. So you can see what that looks like just when the one eye is done, the difference that that makes. But look at how now flawless underneath the eye looks, so much brighter, so much more awake, just by using that concealer that's a couple of shades lighter. That, using that brighter concealer is going to help. The other thing is, is if you have dark circles underneath your eyes, you wanna get a concealer that has a little bit of pink to it, a pink undertone, like Organza, like Chiffon. What that's gonna do, it's gonna help counterbalance any of that dark circle, that purple, okay? So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to brighten up the inner corner you all, if you don't have the pressed shadow and optimistic, you need it in your life. You can buy it as an individual refill. You can buy it as an individual shadow. You can buy it as part of a quad palette. I just think that this shadow is a must. I'm just taking my crease brush and I'm tapping this right here in the inner corner. And this really 
helps brighten up the eye, you all. Look at that difference. Do you see that, that difference there? You can just always do a little bit more. Anytime I'm doing things on camera, I like to do a little bit more, a little extra. But again, do you see how that just opens up and brightens the eye? I love it. That just little tiny touch, little tiny amount. You don't need anything crazy. The other thing that I recommend doing is lining your eye. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the Dip and Draw Liquid Eyeliner in Perfect. It's just a nice black liner. And I like to stamp it, you all. I'm not a makeup artist. I don't like to do anything super fancy and crazy. I just get it right along the lash line and stamp that there. You can see what this does is it helps really define the eye. I got a little, like a little, little bump there. There we go. It really helps define the eye. Do you see how that attention is drawn to the eye? And the other thing that it does is it helps give the appearance of a fuller lash line. So when you put that mascara on, it's just gonna really awaken that eye. I'm gonna just do one eye here from this point forward. I just realized I forgot to stick my mascara down my shirt. I like to do that to allow it to warm up. So I will be right back. I'm gonna let that warm up and I will continue to just do this one eye so you can just really see the difference. And I'll post a picture too, because I think that's always helpful. All right, it's warmed up, it's ready to go. Again, I think when you stick it down your shirt to warm it up, it just allows it to glide on a little bit smoother. This is the latest mascara that Unique has launched. It is the Twisted Mascara. It is one tube, but two wands. So this is the thicker silicone wand. This is really gonna help amp up those lashes and give you the length and the volume and the curl that you're looking for. So again, this is really going to help open up, wake up those eyes, you all, when you put that mascara on and define those lashes. I am always extra because I am part of the itty bitty lash committee. Is anybody else in that same boat? Your lashes are non-existent. So you use all the mascara in the world, just like me, put on a gazillion coats. So if you're like me, you're like that, and you put on a gazillion coats, the thing I recommend doing, and I'm not doing it today, so don't watch what I'm doing, but listen to what I'm saying, is you wanna let that first coat dry before you go in with that second coat. And anytime that you get a glob of mascara like that, don't panic. I had a little glob on the wand and then I pressed it on my eye too soon. Wait for it to dry. You can go in with a Q-tip and it will wipe right off. You really won't even have to touch up your eye makeup. The key is to make sure you let it dry. But look at how tiny this wand is. But this wand is reaching all of these super tiny hairs that normally get missed because your big all thick lashes take over, take, take all the room. And I really like the little wand for the lower lashes. I feel like I can get just the right amount of mascara on those lower lashes with this little wand. So again, if you look at this, it's one tube, two wands, okay? So when you order this, you're actually getting two wands in one tube. It's super cool. Uh, so again, I'm gonna take a picture of this so you can see what the difference makes in really opening up that eye. I went to take a selfie and then I realized I forgot to share with you one of my favorite tips for brightening up the eye. I know I'm crazy and I can't sing so I apologize that you just had to hear that. All right, pristine pencil. Pencil eyeliner in pristine, it's a white liner. I remember when I got one of these in my unique beauty boxes, I was like, what am I supposed to use this for? Okay, y'all, there are so many things that you can use this for, including uh, putting this in your lower lash line. This is really going to brighten up the eyes. This is like a must. I do this all day, every day. Look at that difference. It's huge. It makes the biggest difference. How could I forget that I need my pristine liner? <laughs> it's so easy, you all. And Unique is retiring this liner. So once it's gone, it's gone. Make sure you grab this because it's so important to be in your makeup bag. Bye. If you have any questions about brightening up the eye, please do not hesitate to ask. If you like these types of tutorial step-by-step -step videos, Give me a thumbs up. Let me know that in the comments below. Please be sure to subscribe to my channel and ring the bell so that way anytime I post a new video, you are notified.